Hey boys and girls, it's Nadia from the Joplin site and we are continuing our book, Dinosaurs Before Dark, and today we're gonna read chapter four. Chapter four, Henry. Jack gasped as Annie held out her hand. Oh, brother, she was always trying to make friends with animals, but this was going too far. Don't get close to him, Annie, Jack shouted, but Annie touched the pterodon's chest. She stroked his neck. She was talking to him. What in the world is she saying? Jack took a deep breath. <sighs> okay, he could, he would go down too. It would be good to examine the creature. Take notes, like a scientist. Jack started down the rope ladder. When we got down to the ground, Jack was only a few feet away from the creature. The creature stared at Jack. His eyes were bright and alert. He's soft, Jack, said Annie. He feels like Henry. Jack snorted. <laughs> He's no dog, Annie. Feel him, Jack, said Annie. Jack didn't move. Don't think, Jack, just do it. Jack stepped forward. He put out his arm very cautiously. He brushed his hand down the creature's neck. Interesting, a thin layer of fuzz covered the pterodon's skin. Soft, huh, said Annie. Jack reached out his backpack and pulled out a pencil and notebook. He wrote, fuzzy skin. What are you doing? asked Annie. Taking notes, said Jack. We're probably the first people in the world to ever see a real life pterodon. Jack looked at the pterodon again. The creature had a bony crest on top of his head. The crest was longer than Jack's arm. I wonder how smart he is, Jack asked. Very smart, said Annie. Don't count on it, said Jack. His brain's probably no bigger than a bean. No, he's very smart. I can feel it, said Annie. I'm going to call him Henry. Jack wrote in his notebook, small brain, question mark. Jack looked at the creature again. Maybe he's a mutant, he said. The creature tilted his head. Annie laughed. He's no mutant, Jack. Well, what's he doing here then? Where is this place, said Jack. Annie leaned close to the pterodon. Do you know where we are, Henry? She asked softly. The creature fixed his eyes on Annie. His long jaws were opening and closing like a giant pair of scissors. Are you trying to talk to me, Henry? Asked Annie. Forget it, Annie, Jack wrote in his notebook. Mouth like scissors, question mark. Did we come to a long time ago, Henry? Asked Annie. Is this place from a long time ago? Suddenly she gasped. Jack, he looked up. Annie was pointing toward a hill. On top of, on top of the hill stood a huge dinosaur. And that ends for chapter four. So come back tomorrow and we can continue the book for chapter five. Thanks for watching, bye.